Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 2022 and in this video I will show you how students can use this tablet for maximum productivity and what are some limitations. So let's start. The first productivity feature is Samsung Notes. So you have pre-installed Samsung Notes. You can easily write on it to make your notes. And then if you want, you can use the pen tool. Okay. And then you can also use the highlighter tool. If you want to use the eraser, you can also use the eraser tool. You can also bring any image or text from Google into your notes. So you take out the edge panel, open internet browser, and then you can search any image on Google. Okay. So for example, I said this image if you like any image you can just drag and drop into your notes okay and then if you want you can change its size you can change its position you can rotate it as well the next thing is you can also bring text from any website okay so for example I open this website and then if I like some text I can easily bring it into my Samsung notes okay I just select the text okay and then I simply press and hold it and then I can simply bring it into my notes I can also change its size you can see it's bigger in size but you can change its size as well the next thing is if you want to export your notes you can export in different formats okay so you select save as file and then here you can see you have notes file option PDF file uh, word PowerPoint image or text file the next thing is you can also uh, uh, use the voice recording option so you can uh, record your lectures as well and in the same time you can also make your notes the next thing that I want to mention is you can also do the categorization so you can make folders for each subject you can also create subfolders so you can see over here I create subfolders the next feature is PDF annotation so you can annotate your PDF file in Samsung note select this PDF icon and then here you can select any PDF file and then you can bring it into your notes and you can easily annotate it okay so for example all the tools are available on top so for example if you want to use the highlighter tool so you can highlight anything in your PDF if you want to write with the pen you can also write if you want to erase it you can erase is if you want to type any text you can also type it and once you finish your uh, PDF annotation you can also export in different formats so again you have notes file option PDF file option you can also use a third party app for PDF annotation name of the app is Zodo so in Zodo you have all the tools available so for example if you want to use the highlighter tool you can highlight it anything and then if you want to use the underline tool you also have the underline tool you have the pen tool okay you have the signature tool so all the tools are available and you can use Zodo app the next feature is about multitasking so you can work on two apps at same time so for example I open this app then I open another app in the split screen and you can see I can work on these two apps together okay and then if you want you can also bring another app in a pop-up view okay so for example I will uh, bring uh, this app okay so I select it and then I bring it in the pop-up view so you can uh, work on three apps together at same time the next feature is about using free version of Microsoft Office so you can use the web based version if you want to make any assignments okay on the Microsoft Word so or you want to do any work on the Excel sheet you can do this on the web based version I made a separate video about it how you can use the web based version of Microsoft Office you can also use PowerPoint the next feature is you can also use Google Docs for your assignment work. Google Doc is completely free, okay, and it has all the tools available. The next thing is you can also use Google Slides for your presentation. It has all the templates and all the themes available. The next feature is Zoom screen recording. So you can open Zoom and screen recording feature is pre-installed in this tablet. So you can record your lectures as well. 
the next productivity feature is focus mode this will really help you in your studies so you can enable focus mode and it will only allow you to open specific apps that you want to use for your study so you can see over here it will show you the time and you can customize your apps so you can see over here I customize these apps and then I can only open these apps the rest of the apps are not working in the focus mode guys if you want to study for a longer period you can use the eye comfort shield option and this will help you to study for longer hours because it use the uh, blue light filter so you can open any document or any book if you want to read and you can read for longer period of time the last thing that I'm going to talk about are some limitations. So guys, this tablet does not support palm rejection technology. So if I rest my palm on the screen, I try to write, I am unable to write. Okay. The second thing is it does not support active stylus. So you will have a difficulty in writing on this tablet with your stylus. So I'm using Amazon basic stylus, but still I have a difficulty in writing uh, on this tablet okay so if i try to uh, use the pen tool i have a difficulty so these are some limitations in this tablet so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please subscribe to my channel thank you very much